Sandra, when you regularly watch somebody on television, you kind of get that feeling that you know the person. But this story in Rolling Stone is a tale of two very different Jimmy Fallons. One's a nice guy, the other one generates complaints to HR. Working at The Tonight Show would be a pinnacle experience. And to read in this article that it was the opposite of that, that it was, it was heartbreaking from some staffers, is really terrible. He's referring to this scathing Rolling Stone article in which former and current Tonight Show staff paint Jimmy Fallon as kind of a Jekyll and Hyde-like figure, likable one moment, angry and dismissive the next. One staffer quoted as saying, you never knew which Jimmy you were going to get and when he was going to throw a hissy fit. Others said that Fallon was sometimes hungover and erratic, leading to a toxic workplace and high employee turnover. Fallon reportedly apologized to staff today, saying, I'm sorry if I embarrassed you. I never set out to create that type of atmosphere at the show. I want this show to be fun. It should be inclusive for everybody. It should be funny. It should be the best show, the best people. The article, though, also used the word inebriated to describe the late night host. So I think it brings up a topic that for a long time, neither Jimmy Fallon nor NBC have ever wanted to discuss or expose. Does Jimmy Fallon have a drinking problem? Is Jimmy Fallon's erratic behavior fueled by alcohol? Rumors of that have been around for years, but Fallon has denied it. Chris Miller, the latest in a revolving door of showrunners for tonight, said today in an email, I don't believe what is written is reflective of the overall culture of our extraordinary team. The place described in the article is not the place I know. With late night TV still dark because of the writer's strike, will these accusations be addressed before Fallon returns? The hope might be that, that this will kind of die on the vine and, and you know the show doesn't come back for X number of weeks anyway. But I think NBC is going to have to do something about this, say something about this. I think if I were advising Jimmy Fallon, I would have him address it too. NBC saying in part today, we are incredibly proud of The Tonight Show and providing a respectful working environment is a top priority. Well, we've all seen these types of allegations before. Of course, Ellen DeGeneres had to deal with similar allegations. We'll see how all of this affects Jimmy Fallon's future. At NBC Universal, I'm Rick Chambers, guys. I'll throw it back to you in the studio. All right, Rick, thank you.